these are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Your ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life forms and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Imagine the response. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> responded very well and they, they arranged, you probably know the whole story, they arranged for uh, 300 people to be bused here to Calgary to see the film and so I was very pleased that we could work that out. Um, and since then I've been in touch with them and when I knew that I was coming to Calgary I said, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to being in Calgary but I'm, I've got to get the bulk in as well. Probably you heard, or maybe you haven't, that I am retired from films and television. And, uh, and I've been at it over 60 years, and I've had an incredible, incredible run. I'm very, very grateful for all of it, grateful to all of you for your support, obviously, over the years. Uh, I've always felt terribly uh, strongly at home in Canada. I've worked all over Canada, uh, including uh, acting and directing. I directed two films in Toronto, with a three men and a baby for one, and was directed in Toronto. I said I was reminded of a little earlier, somebody asked me about an Outer Limits episode that I acted in that my son Adam directed, and we did that in, in Vancouver a couple of years ago. So uh, we've, had, we've had great times in Canada, and I'm very grateful for all of your hospitality. It's a really wonderful day. Um, in spite of the fact that Bill Shatner comes from here, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are very good friends. He, he was at my house for dinner. Um, this just this past uh, Wednesday, and uh, and uh, you know he's doing several TV shows. He's got his raw nerve talk show that he does, an interview show. He's got uh, he's got the, the Priceline commercials are still running. Uh, <laughs> he's got I think the two or three other shows in the works that are, that are coming on. Of course, the, the Boston Legal is is he was brilliant on Boston Legal. I think. <laughs> And, uh, and, I, I, and now this Governor General thing is happening, and I'm kind of <laughs> <laughs> It just is unstoppable. unstoppable. And we are, we are very good friends, but we, we, we are competitive, there's no question about it. Uh, so, I'm, uh, I guess we'll take some questions. Is there a microphone out there for somebody to... Yes, I will, uh, I'm retiring from acting and directing in films and television. I do have a number of, of appearances like this still on my schedule for the rest of this year, including Vancouver, by the way. And, uh, and I just finished some work in Vancouver on the, on the Fringe television show. <laughs> I, 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 worked, I was there quite a bit during the month of April and, and finished the work just about 10 days ago. And the two episodes that I acted in will be on the air in, uh, in May, on, on three in May, uh, two, two consecutive weeks. And, and um, I will be doing more photography work, and, I will, and I, I will make a decision at the end of this year about any future appearances, but I do have a number of appearances left to do this year, and I'll, I will fulfill those commitments. Yeah. Well, we're really glad that you chose us. <laughs> I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. Um, a science award. Yes, uh, about two weeks ago I was at Colorado Springs where I was inducted into the National Space Foundation Hall of Fame. <laughs> and uh, it was wonderful, I had a great time. There were about a thousand people at a banquet where I was honored. And I, I opened my comments by telling them that I remembered very well, these were all other people connected with space and space science and so forth. And I, I told him that I had a, a wonderful memory of having been with the cast of Star Trek and Gene Roddenberry in the Mojave Desert in 1976 when the first shuttle came rolling out of a hangar. And because of fan uh, uh, energy and excitement and mail and so forth, um, United States President General Ford named that ship the Enterprise. And it was, it was the shuttle that was used, it was mounted on the piggyback on the 747 and dropped from the 747 to practice landings. It was the first, oh, wow. first shuttle that was built, yeah. So it was an exciting day, 1976. The Air Force Band, the United States Army Air Force Band played the theme from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> came rolling out. And, and interestingly enough, Barack Obama was five years old. 